Guys, welcome to uh, my Shoko Motors. Uh, this is my 2001 BMW 325, and today I'm going to show you how to do the uh, brake uh, replacement on your E46. Uh, it should work with all the E46, and this is my uh, uh, 2001 E325 uh, E46. And uh, number one, make sure that you um, open up your uh, brake fluid reservoir, and uh, this will allow you to. Um, um, once you push the piston back, that push the flow of the uh, brake fluid back into the uh, reservoir and uh, make sure that you get that open. Uh, I already completed the uh, driver's side, as you can see. So now I'm working on the uh, passenger side. So I'm going to share the video with you so that you can um, do the job yourself. It's, it's, it's a very easy and um, fun job to do. Uh, as you can see, I already painted the uh, calipers. This is my daughter's car, in fact. So uh, she wanted me to uh, paint her calipers red uh, to match the uh, wagon. I have an E39 wagon also. So I said, okay. So I painted yesterday, so I let it dry. So today I'm just going to do the job. So number one, there's... Uh, bolts that holds the uh, guides in the back so just open the uh, this plugs like this just open them just pull them there's one on top here and then there's another one at the bottom just pull the one at the bottom out and once you once you get them out and um, they uh, both use um, Tox 45 so use Tox 45 to um, to release them. So and one out. Let's release that. Then I catch the uh, the bottom side. kind of awkward for me because I have this uh, camera so uh, get it, get it in there. okay okay I got the bottom side Okay, let me see if I can move this camera back a little bit. Hopefully that will allow me. That will give me some room. So once I uh, loosen up this uh, two, they call them guide slide bolt. Once I release them, then I should be able to remove the uh, the calipers that allows me to relieve, to, relieve, to remove the brake pads. So if you're only doing the brake pads and you're not replacing your, your rotors or your disc, so this will be the only step you take. Just remove this guide bolt. And once you get them out, that allows you to pull this caliper out, this part of the caliper out and, uh, and um, remove the uh, the brake pads but since I'm doing the whole brake system replacing the um, the rotors also so uh, okay. yeah, don't mind the red on the disc or the uh, calipers I'm gonna replace this caliper so so that came from painting the. Uh, that came from painting the. Uh, the calipers yesterday, so it got onto the rotors. So I don't mind because I'm going to replace them.
and then from here so I'm just gonna take my uh, my screwdriver and put the screwdriver right there and then we're just gonna slide push it in so once when I do this it pushes the uh, the cylinder back and and that loosens up the uh, caliper so I can easy once you get it you can easily slide it out so you see once you get it out then oops look at that so you're able to um, to remove your your brake pads so you can oh this guy's stuck I'm not gonna use this guy, so take it out. Okay, so what I do from here, so I'm gonna use the same old brake pad, but just put it right there. So just put it right there, and then I'm gonna use the um, I'm gonna use the uh, the C clamp. Get the C clamp. So I'm gonna use the C clamp to push the uh, the piston to push the piston all the way back. So what you do? Okay. So let's hope. I'll be able to if you guys will be able to see it. So just put this C clamp right there. So you can get the C clamp from AutoZone or, or even Walmart. And get the seat clamp and uh, that will save you a whole lot and then what you do is just push the uh, just push it all the way okay. okay guys I'm trying to get this on the video and it's a little bit awkward okay I'm gonna pull it out of the video guys but I'll, sh I'll show you once once I'm complete Okay, here we go. Push. So I'm see now I got it. So I'm pushing it all the way. All the way. Alright, should be tight. So now I can get the seat clamp out. And then from this point, so I don't put stress on the um, brake lines. So I'm just going to tie it up to the spring. We'll tie it up onto the spring here. See if you guys can see that. Let me get this camera up. So I'm tying it up onto the spring right there. And I'm just going to leave it right there. And uh, so once it's sitting there then i can uh, start working on repla on removing the uh removing the uh the 
caliper. So there's one more bracket that I'm gonna remove. This bracket right here. So that's this one it's a 16 16 millimeter. There. Okay guys, I'm gonna move this camera this way so I can get some room. really tight so okay guys I got those uh, two bolts loosen up from the back uh, that's this is the last bracket so we have one so I take the left the other one right there so this is the second one and this is the bracket right here so I try to keep them out of the way and together and then so we come to the uh, the rotor right here so you have another bolt that holds the uh, rotor so I use uh, Tox 40 to to get it out so um, here I already broke it loose so once you loosen this then your then your rotor just fall out so it just comes out once you get this bolt out that is so it is out so and then from here then you can start going back in reverse so what i normally do is uh, start with the uh, rotor because that's the last thing you took out so here's my new rotor. Put it in place. Then I'll take that little screw, screw it back. And once you screw it back, then it, it holds it in place. Then when I'm done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. And then from here, remember everything goes back in reverse now. So I go back to this bracket, put it all the way in the back. Back. Get the top ones in. The bottom one, and I'm gonna tighten it in. Remember, it's a 16 millimeter wrench. Okay, so take this hammer. 
Okay. okay. That is most of the job done now. So that's how easy that is. Look tight in the sky. So now what we do now we're gonna take the uh, I'm gonna put on the uh, brake pads. So so these are the brake pads right here. Now what I use is um, the uh, CFC disc brake quieter. Uh, I'm not marketing for them, but uh, I've been using their product in all all my repairs hopefully they will um, subscribe to my uh, channel and also sponsor my channel yes. so it's been a good product for me and uh, I use it so what I do is uh, just rub it Just rub it around. Back pad, and this is how it looks. Then I set up the uh, first brake pad right there. So there it is. Set it up right there. Good. I'll take the uh, second brake pad. And remember, we, we have the uh, caliper set up there. So I'm going to release it, remove it. So I use a coat hanger to to tie it up. It's not nothing complicated. Nothing complicated. Then this is the uh, second. This is the second. This so I'm gonna set it up and the uh, put it in place. Then uh, then slide the. Uh, Okay, see? And then from here, what you do now, you're gonna set up the uh, guide sleeve from the back. The, the guide sleeve bolts. Okay, turn in place. I'm gonna use a uh, Tox 45 for that. Okay, guys. Once you once once you finish putting the uh, the guide sleeve bolt, uh, make sure that you put the uh, the dust caps. Okay. Remember the dust caps that you removed. Make sure you put them back. That prevents dust from getting into uh, into that area. Okay guys, once you complete that, in fact your job is done for this uh, wheel. So the next step that you have to do is uh, replace the uh, clamp. I know in the, um, when I started, uh, I, uh, I didn't show you how to remove this because I already removed it yesterday when I was painting the uh, caliper. So, but all you do, you just push it in and pull. So. You just slide it, slide it to the side and then pull it and then it just comes out. Okay, all you do is put it in the location right here. See that? 
and then and just push it in. That's it. When it locks in place, then you can remove your hanger like that because you don't need that no more. This is the hanger I used. You don't need that no more. And that's it. That's it, guys. Brake pads and rotor repair 101 on the 2001 E46. And uh, hopefully this video will help you guys to uh, to do the job without any issues. And, um, and that's it. And that should uh, complete. And then you, it's the same process with the all the wheels. The only difference with the real ones, make sure that your your brake your brake yeah, your hand brake or your emergency brake it's not set. Okay, do not set your your hand brake because you will not be able to pull that uh, that disc brake or the uh, rotor out in the back. Make sure your this is only for the rear wheels. So make sure that your your hand brake is not set. Thank you so much. Again, this is Mashoku Motors. Uh, share and like the video, the channel, and uh, hopefully we'll make more videos again. Thank you. Bye.